Hi guys, it's the Winged Assailant here today, and I'm going to show you how to modify trains in, oh, Microsoft Train Simulator. So you open up my computer and you browse to where you installed uh, Train Simulator. It'll be something like C, Program Files, whatever, Microsoft Games, Train Simulator, but I have it in a default location, so I go there. Oh, where is it? Oh, train simulator. There you go. Trains. Transit. Now, let's say you want to modify... Ooh, the... Gen... No, we won't do the Genesis. We will do the... Um... A seller. Let's do that. Go down to acela.eng. Oh, actually, you just click open, select program from the list, get a notepad, it'll open up this random crap. Now, you have to make sure that it's not set to read only, otherwise that'll screw it up. So yeah, open it, and you got all of this crap here, so I'll scroll down, keep on scrolling down, scroll down some more. There we go, now, as you can see, um, I've already modded mine, but what you do, you change max power and just hold down the 9, or spam it if you like. Max force, you also spam that. Max continuous force, you spam that. Max velocity, you again, you just spam that. And I think you get the idea. Um, yeah. Now you just click exit, save, and now your seller will look something like uh, this in the following video. So, as you can see, just take a break. There's a board, and just drive. Drive, you speed up fast. If I spam the sander button, it'll go up faster. So look, I'm already doing 80, 95. Many miles an hour, that is, I can't be bothered working out for long as an hour because I don't actually use. Anyway, yeah, so it goes really fast. As you can see in my original videos, it went really fast. I've been going up to 1,000 kilometers, no miles an hour, 4,000 and that. And there we go. Yes, and it gets fly up to the edge. Okay, uh, thanks for watching and hope that